This is part 11 of AngularJS tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss how to implement search in Angular using the search filter. So here is what we want to do. Notice just about this employees table, we have this search employees text box. As we type in the search text box, all the columns in this table must be searched and only the matching rows should be displayed. Let's see how easy it is to implement the search functionality. Let's flip to Visual Studio. So within our script.js file, we have our controller function. And notice within this function, we have this array employees, which at the moment contains five employee objects. And notice each employee object has got name, gender, salary, and city properties. We are then attaching this employees array to the dollar scoop object using this employees variable, which is going to be the model. And then within our view, which is HTML page one dot HTML, we're using this table element to display the employees. Notice within the table we have got this T head section, which at the moment contains four TH elements to display the column headers, name, gender, salary, and city. And then within T body section, we are looping through each employee object in the employees array, which is our model, and then binding to name, gender, salary, and city properties of the employee object as we are looping through. So if we view this HTML in the browser, this is how the employee data is displayed. Now, just about this employees table, we want this search employees text box. So let's go ahead and type the required HTML for that. So just about this table element, I'm going to first include this literal text search followed by that an input element input type equals text and I'm going to include this placeholder attribute and set the value of that to search employees and I'm also going to include this ng dash model directive and let's set that to search text at the moment we don't have this variable already on the scope object but as we type into this text box whatever value we type you know that value will be stored in this property and this property will be dynamically attached to the dollar scope object by angular and then if we have any other element binding to that variable you know the value that we type into the text box will be automatically available for that other element thanks to two way data binding in angular let's include two break elements between the search text box and the table so that there is some space between those two. Now let's go ahead and reload this page. So notice we have our search employees text box. At the moment when we type you know, something into the text box, nothing is going to happen. Since we have specified ng-model directive on this input element, this variable will automatically be added to the dollar scope object and whatever we have typed into that text box you know, will be stored in that variable. And then we can use this search text variable on any other element. So I'm going to use it along with ng repeat directive. So I want to use angular filter here. So I'm going to separate this expression with a pipe character. And then the name of the filter is filter. And the value for this filter is going to come from this variable search text. Okay, so let's save our changes and look at this. When we reload this page and as we type, look at this, when I type, for example, F, so letter F is present in gender column of the employees table. So these are the two matching rows and we see them. And if I type, for example, letter L, letter L is present you know, for all the five employees records in the gender column. So that's why all the five records are displayed. But if I type O, so LO is present only in the city column. So only these three London employees are displayed. So we have search functionality you know, built into our page. And look at the amount of code that we have to write. Just this search text box and this filter expression right here. We are done. Now at the moment, you know, as we type into this text box, we are typing across every column in this employees table. Now let's say I want to search, for example, only within the city column. If that's what you want to do, there is one simple change that you have to do. So on this ng model directive, um, you know, we have search text. I'm going to use dot city property on that. Let's save the changes. And when we reload this, look at that. When I type L, now the first character L 
within the city column we have in London. So that's what we see. Now it's searching only the city column. Now if I type for example C, look at that within the city column we have C and CHG is present in the city column and only those two are displayed. Now if I type letter M within the city column we don't have any of the rows with letter M. Chennai or uh, London cities doesn't have letter M in them so that's why none of the rows match and nothing is displayed. So here we have the controller code here we have the view code and finally the styles that are applied. Thank you for listening and have a great day.